Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. Thanks again for joining me. Today I get to share a project with you for Girl Designer Designs and we're going to be using this stamp set here called Happy Bee Day. The Bee Day is spelled B-E-E. -E. It's so cute. This um, is a brand new release over at the Girl Designer shop and I'm not sure if it's quite available just yet, but um, if it is, I'll link it down below and I'm sure it has coordinating dies. I'll link that too. But um, if it's not available, I'll link the Gerdesigner shop below. That way you guys can keep a lookout for it. But it's so sweet. Um, I love the size of the bumblebee in this set. Um, bumblebees are smaller images to color in. Sometimes smaller images are a little bit more tricky to color because they're so little. Um, but I love the size of this guy. He's super happy and he's holding a little sign, which is nice. There's sentiments in the stamp set that um, you can fill in that sign with. Um, we're going to actually fill it in with the sentiment that says be positive today. There's also three floral images, so this is a great floral stamp too. Um, I'm going to stamp this flower, just the same flower, um, six times on my panel. I think I can get six in here. And then I'm going to color in my flower and my little bumblebee with my Copic markers. I'm stamping with Memento ink on some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. Both of these are alcohol marker friendly. And so they're great to color with. I'm going to go ahead and play some music while I color. I'll zoom in, and when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. And I think I mentioned I had six flowers. I only colored in or stamped five flowers that would fit on this page. But I'm using my scissors to fussy cut each one of them out. My five flowers and my little bumblebee. Um, and again, coordinating dies are available. And if they're um, available today, I will list them below. I did stamp my sentiment that says be positive on the inside of his little sign. I thought that would make an encouragement card today. 
for my background, we're going to create a picture frame. I guess I, I am known for my frames. I like frames on cards, and so um, creating a picture frame is super easy. My panel measures three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. And then I just took a square die and cut out a window in that panel. Um, the square measures two and three quarter inches. So um, it's easy to create photo frames that way. Now I have some pattern paper here, some black and white stripe, and then some yellow and white polka dot. I layered them both together and I adhered them on the bottom of the frame. So it's gonna turn that square window into a rectangle window and I'm happy with the outcome. Now my fa my flowers, I have two of them I'm gonna put on the inside of my card, but this first one that's far, furthest to the left, I'm gonna tuck in between that yellow layer. Um, the next one I'm gonna tuck directly behind my yellow and white polka dot layer, and this third one we're gonna tuck just behind the inside of the photo frame, just for a little bit of difference on their height and also um, the way they're layered. Okay, that looks great. Well, for, for, for me, that looks great. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add the trail of my bumblebee. It has a little heart on there, which is adorable. I'm using my uh, Memento ink because it's on my desk. And um, then we'll pop up our little bumblebee and place him right over our little heart trail. Kind of slanting him just a little bit. I think it looks so cute. <laughs> We're going to flip this panel over. I'm going to add foam adhesive behind it. And if you wanted to very well turn this into a shaker card, you very well could. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to an A2 size card base. And um, my flowers were all laying flat, which is great, but I like a little added dimension. So the flower that's furthest on the left, I'm going to add um, a couple pieces of foam tape behind it. We're going to add one more. And then this way it's, it's a level higher than the other two just for a little bit of um, added dimension. For these two flowers, we're gonna bring in some glue and just glue them to the bottom right corner, kind of overlapping the stems a little bit. Aren't those flowers so pretty? And then there's one little bud of these flowers and then one flower that's opened up. So this is, will make a great floral arrangement on a card also. So we're just trimming off the excess here. I think it looks great. Now I wanted a little bit of sparkle, so I'm gonna bring in some gold sequins. The sequins I'm using are adhesive backed and they're from Jelly Bean Soup. I'm just gonna add three inside the photo frame area and then we'll add two on the outside of the photo frame area. These are nice because all you do is just pick and stick. <laughs> There's no mess or fussing. I think the sequins will bring out the yellow and the bumblebee body, which is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my white gel pen and we're gonna highlight the flowers by adding some little polka dots to them. This is just gonna make it stand out a little bit more. And then I'm also gonna highlight the sign of my bumblebee. And then I'm gonna make his cheek stand out by just adding one little dot on each side of his cheek. Um, there's pink underneath, so I just wanted to stand out a bit. But that's my project for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is the Happy Bee Day stamp set. It's new over the Curtis Center shop, and I encourage you guys to check it out. Have a fabulous day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.